everybody, welcome back. We got some, we got some work done yesterday. We did pretty okay here with some of these tainted characters. I hate that the more I look at this, the more I'm like, man, there's really like tainted cane, which is just a simulation for being yelled at for not knowing the proper recipe. It's like being on Hell's Kitchen. You donkey! If you just get one eternal heart and eight dimes, you make... Okay, that's too many items to begin with. Um, and then I, I just look at Tainted Lost and I say to myself, you know what? With Tainted Lost, somehow we have beaten the hush already. Um, but either way, um, you know, you just it's a pretty simple process as Tainted Lost. You just gotta not get hit. Uh, more than one time. So there, there's a couple things worth noting. This is secondhand knowledge, as is most knowledge, I suppose, that is at least spoken about. Um, like, I didn't discover the theory of gravity, man. People will be like, oh, you don't know gravity? And you're like, dude, I wasn't... You weren't there when the apple got uh, dropped on Isaac Newton's head? You don't... You're, you're not an intellectual. Well, I mean, you might, you might be an intellectual, but like, okay, hold on. This is like, you should not do this, but this is how committed I am. This is, I'm committed to the grind. Look at this, we're squeezing it out through the extruder. All this, and the only thing that could benefit us is small rock, because we're the lost. Okay, you're dead to me. <laughs> you know what, you're dead to me too. <laughs> if you wanted to, if you wanted to not get tagged there, you should have thought about that before you stuffed something useless in there. Um. So, most important thing as Tainted Lost, the, well, most important thing is you don't have Holy Mantle, you have Holy Card, but Holy Card does last until you get hit. It no longer lasts for a single room. You also have an increased chance to find more Holy Cards. That's very good. Now, hear me out here, because we're, we're about to go on an endless uh, tirade of positivity. I don't even know if we should be using our bombs for that, man, but... Um, we also have a better item pool. It's true. This one's gotta be small rock, man. Come on. Come on. Are you okay? That's not so... That's like the second best thing it could have been, probably. Um, you get a better item pool. Now, you might say Fate's Reward is, uh, you know, maybe not part of that. I probably, if you're gonna twist my arm, would be inclined to agree. That being said, though, I believe that there's some kind of, like... In the back end, when it generates the item for you, there's a chance that if it's a bad item or an item that they've uh, said is like a low tier item, then they put in a little chance for it to be re-rolled into something that has a chance to be a higher tier. So on average, on a long enough time scale, you should be expecting to see greater items. There is a downside and it's a big one. You can't get the classic defensive items that normally are considered the foundation of a creative lost run. We're gonna try it. I don't know if we should, but we're gonna try it. That means no nine lives, no holy mantle, even more so than no nine lives. To the best of my knowledge, there's also no uh, respawn items whatsoever. You're not gonna hit me, I'm not afraid. What we should be doing is checking shops, because if there's a holy card, it's it's like unbelievably good. I really don't like um, there may be options, but I think this might be one of the only situations where I can kind of stomach it. <laughs> because, I, I mean, so th there may be options, or whatever it's called. Um, options is, uh, is the item where you get two rewards when a room pays out, but you can only choose one of them. It's objectively good in the sense that it, like, provides you with a, a better selection of consumables, which is why I took it, because, like, if this maybe proportionally doubles our chances of seeing a holy card, I think it's non-negotiable. I think you gotta take it. The flip side is, it's just very irritating to use. <laughs> it's like, you know, Flash Isaac chocolate milk. It's just irritating. <laughs> um, Alright, so we'll, we'll take Mr. Dolly. We'll probably do deals with the devil, because we're the lost. When you're the lost, you get free deals with the devil. So, I mean, it, it's possible deals with the angel will still be better, and I am going to try the alt path here. You know, we, we got 12.58 damage. This seems pretty solid. Um, I also got a 72% chance of a deal. <gasps> I knew that we were in danger. Let's put it that way. 
So we're fishing for- remember, holy cards. Holy cards. What do we want here? I'll take a- I'll take a nickel, please. Um, th those are just the worst enemies, man. Oh my god. No, no, no. 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 Saved. 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 I don't- dude, I don't want to see him anymore. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face, you big disgrace. Spinning all over the place. Magic Mush, obviously unbelievable. Um, hilarious to think that the other item possibly could have been better, you know? We'll never know, but... There's there's some truly incredible stuff happening here. I'm just a little frightened. Hey, dude, that blowing up is for the best. Because we wouldn't have gotten the reward anyway. That's probably a secret room, but we're just chilling for now. The shots, the damage we're, we're creating here is, is unbelievable. Um... I was really hoping to see a holy card, obviously. Humbling Bundle seems great. We're, that was our best chance to get a holy card. So now you just... I was gonna say, just don't get hit. Please. Just land, land some shots, dude! Saved, saved, okay. Range upgrade, we care not. Please, something not bad. Okay, that's pretty not bad. Can I run something insane by you right now? You'll never see that in this series ever again. Um, I, I know what I did, and I stand by it. I don't think Mom's Knife Hemolacria is the play. There's no way we're getting Bad Trip. They must have taken it out of the rotation. For the Lost. Um, for Tainted Lost, at least. Take this Tainted Lost and learn to fly again. Learn to live so free. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. It's a... Whew, this song is called uh, Broken Wings. Take those. Um, it is a... Uh, it, it was popular in the 1980s, but then also... This temperance forces us to take like 12 pills. Do it! Do it! Speed, hematemesis, full health, full health. Something's wrong. Just endless full health. Okay, I mean, that's a tears upgrade. It is a boss trap room. I don't think we have to take, like, every item that shows up. Don't- I'm not even giving you a chance. Don't even create those guys, man. Um, oh my god, it's wooden cross, dude! <laughs> so once per floor, this gives us... Holy Mantle again. I'm not... Saying this is a guarantee because it's so far from a guarantee. Did you see how close we came to Oblivion there? It's so far from a guarantee that I'm still very, very scared. I'm I'm very upset right now. I I, I had to go for the knife piece. We had like a, an actual ten out of ten run. Um, but I, mean, I I can't hit those enemies. I, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I just can't hit the The enemies can't be hit, okay? Um, but I'm, I'm not, like, really upset. That's just, you know, you gotta be able to have that kind of resiliency. You gotta be anti-fragile when you're playing as Tainted Lost. And it, it just goes to show you, you know, unless you're playing out of your mind, you really gotta have a run that's like... It, it, it doesn't just have to be 10 out of 10. It has to be, like... You know, like 50 out of 10 to, to have yourself a, a little bit of a guarantee. Have yourself a guaranteed tinted lost win. Let your heart be fine. From now on, your devil deals will be mom's knife. Sorry, sorry. And hell, <laughs> you can't, you can't just stop it there. Um... Okay, yeah, thank you. Speed, sure, yes, thank you. Amazing. I mean, dude, I, I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't do it, but like, I think we gotta give it at least a chance, right? You gotta do it at some point. I mean, and, and the other thing is like, I'm, I'm happy and uh, this is genuine. I'm happy that there's a... Uh, ooh, a little tears upgrade. Um, that there's genuinely very, very difficult things to do in this game. And, and, and you know, I might catch the slightest bit of flack for this. I love playing as... Oh, I knew it was coming, too. 
I love playing as uh, Tainted Jacob. I think he's very silly. Um, and, and also quite strong, to be honest with you. Um, you know, mostly because the, the actual, like, spirit itself is kind of, like, very powerful. But, um... Thank you very much. I really appreciate that because, you know, if we can get a holy card or something, five cents from the shop, little man, put that card in my hand. But uh, Tainted Lost is almost more of like a, a pure test of Isaac's skill, I think. Whereas, you know, Tainted Jacob is, is a little bit of a meme. You're trying to juggle 75 different things at once. Um, tainted, uh, tainted Lost is more like, hey, shoot, dodge, you know, don't get hit. So on and so forth. It's got the thinnest margin of safety of any character that you could possibly play as in the game. I don't shy away from the challenge. I, I look forward to it uh, as something that is, uh, you know, wh when it's done, and we will get it done eventually. That, that much is certain. It won't be this one. <laughs> But when it's done, oh man, it's gonna feel good. Uh, okay, so actually, birthright is pretty okay as tainted lost. It gives you an extra life. I think it's the only way you can get an extra life. Short of, I mean, people have said like, any anytime I stream this, you know, like, I, I'm I'm not like upset about it, but I I I'm kind of tired of explaining it, I guess, is what I would say. But people are like, if you just get this item and then you use this item in this room, then you can also generate one extra life. And I'm like, buddy, the item that you're describing, I've still never seen. I don't even think I've unlocked it yet. So, I mean, I, I see that you typed it like 45 times here, but like, you got to understand that it might be kind of like a lower priority for me based on the fact that it doesn't exist in my file yet. Okay, we'll just take birthright. Um... So I don't know, I, I, and again, like I apologize, this is a spoiler for you, but people keep talking to me about this item called Spin Down Dice. If you have a Spin Down Dice, also known as a life counter from Magic the Gathering, pre the invention of the smartphone. Um, this is not great, but we'll take it. Um, then you can, uh, you can get something out of that. You, you can finesse it in such a way that it provides you with some sort of value. We don't even have the option to get to the second secret, or uh, the, the the alternate path here, so let's uh, maybe be be stoked about it. Bone Spurs has been showing up uh, an awful lot. It, it turns enemies that we kill into bones, and then I guess my presumption is that probably, like, if we can get Famine to run into those, they'll take damage. You know, for, for all the negativity I've had surrounding this item, maybe it's not so bad. It seems like it could be decent AoE. So we're going to get a cube of meat, and we got to remember, like, we've only done Mom's Heart and, and Hush, bizarrely, is this character. So if we end up having to go all the way to um, uh, just like the Dark Path or the or the Cathedral, it, you know, we wouldn't look to that as, and, and this is more about me changing my own expectations, we wouldn't look to that as a negative outcome. We would look to that as like, you did something pretty incredible. You didn't quite hit the highest highs that you could get, but uh, more power to you, man. I guess that's still, you know, you gotta, you gotta choose your, uh, pick your battles in this game. Now, I will also say I don't feel a regret for going to the alt path on that first run we had. Like we were, we had amazing power. So I, I, okay, I got no regrets there. Um, I would probably take a steam sale. You know we're about to get a deal with the devil, but I'm just taking a moment to do some exploration if possible. Anyway, how am I doing? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. It's been 20 minutes-ish, what, 15? Sneak into some banter here, you know? I do want to say, there was one last thing I wanted to say because I know it was going to come up. NL, you're not going to the curse rooms. Yeah, we, we don't have Holy Mantle. The regular Lost has Holy Mantle. As a result, they can go to the curse rooms um, and, and survive on the way out and the way in, technically, but they fly so they don't take damage on the way in. Um, okay, not what we're looking for, but five extra bombs is, is a little nice, at least. 
feels like it could be a secret room. No. Nope. It was a bit of a long shot. Dude, a library is kind of interesting. I don't know what book we'd be looking for. I guess, like, Book of the Dead would be would be pretty solid. I know we... Uh, book of Shadows, actually, is probably even better. But, um, I... I know you're probably like, well, you got that holy card, you got bookworm, you got etc, etc. And you know what? Hold on. Now with Book of Shadows, this might not be the highest yield way to do this. I did it on the way in. <laughs> that's, come on. Look, that's stupid, but it's so funny. I, I can't be mad at myself. Too. Well, I mean, I give, I'm mad at myself, but in like a humorous way. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, a, a soul for a soul. We still have birthright, at least. But yeah, that, obviously that was idiotic. Um, anyway, the, the payoff there before I made an incredibly dumb decision was going to be that, uh, you know, what are we looking for from that curse room anyway? Because we can't get... Uh, who? Do it. We can't get... Uh, Nine lives, which is probably what most people would be fishing for in there. But of course you can get, you know, a variety of worthwhile deal with the devil items and so on and so forth. Okay. Great item. Remember, we have birthright, so we're not sunk when we get hit once. It's still very stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna, again, this is risky because, like, Mega's pretty good. But I, I really do think, and you're, you're going to think that the man's lost his mind. He gave up on Mom's knife. He gave up on Mega. Like, what, what's going on with this guy? I, I'm for real, for serious. Remember when people used to say that? As Tainted Lost, I think the rules are different. Anything that gives us invincibility, I think, is, is worth, I mean, in a vacuum, at least. All other things being equal, I think it's worth more than something like Mega. Now, we actually, we're, we're almost like playing the numbers. Um, not the lottery, like, I mean, like, we're, we're using mathematics. If we can buy items from the shop that raise our ability to generate charges for Book of Shadows, life becomes a lot easier. We're, we're still in a very, very fragile state here. Um, and... We may actually decide, it's not the game's fault, it's my fault, but we may decide that uh, the curse room gambit is not worth it. Hanged man, sadly, pretty much useless. Like, if a room is easy, and this is like perfect comedic timing opportunity, if a room is easy, I don't mind doing it. I, we, we don't need to mash, like, the spacebar indiscriminately if, if the room is easy enough to take out. Which would mean that we'd have some space left over to go to the curse room, for example, but... Okay, I, did I get a little scared there? Yeah, maybe, maybe we should be mashing. Dude, red stew is an incredible item. In, in principle... Okay, you know what? That one just... It, it, when you popped out of the ground like that, you scared the crap out of me. In principle, I'm not sure if you should wait on Red Stew or pick it up right away. I guess it depends whether or not we're going to get hit right here. Always forget this floor is full of enemies that just, uh, like, telefrag you. Things are a little spicy. Certainly, I think, um... You would benefit... Let's go. Uh, you know what? The bones block shots is what I'm realizing now. You would probably benefit from taking Red Stew before the boss. It's a really, really good item. I, I don't think we're going to be able to use it to carry us through the entirety of the game, but <laughs> I think we can definitely use it to carry us for a little bit. Have we been to our item room on this floor? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so let's go item room. Red stew. Boss room. Feeling good. I know we're, we're in like a, a, a crazy position here, but this, this is new Isaac, man. And in new Isaac... Okay, not really what we're looking for. We got a nice little suite of uh, familiars, I guess. Although none of them shoot, and as a result, we're not any closer to conjoined. But then on the other hand, conjoined, not necessarily the be-all, end-all to begin with. Um, but yeah, we're, we're in a new world where, um, you know, 15 cents for a, a pseudo-temporary damage upgrade is the kind of thing that absolutely 
tickles my fancy, man. By the way, I gotta remember, red stew. Not an HP upgrade, it's full HP. There's a difference, sweetheart. My mistake. So we're gonna lose quite a lot um, on the way back. I guess we might as well. Uh, quite a lot of damage on the way back, but you generate more damage. Every time, okay, and perfection is actually pretty sick here. Um, but you generate more damage uh, after every enemy you kill as well, up to the maximum that you got with Red Stew in the first place. Okay, okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. No, no demon bombs. <laughs> Just regular bombs, please, and then an immediate pop of Book of Shadows. Which will also, oh, thank God we popped it immediately. So will also serve the purpose of allowing us to keep our damage as high as possible. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit more confident. Not a not a lot, admittedly. I'm starting to get a little bit more confident. What what would I say is like next on the horizon for us? Um, in terms of positivity, you gotta be mighty careful because the bones are just destroying those guys right off the bat. They're destroying their explosive shots. Um, it's, it's really like, I think this is a game right now where we just go to the shop um, and until the shop gives us a holy card. And then uh, hope for the best, basically. You know, if, if we get holy cards, we're going to be feeling pretty solid. We also have 11 luck. And yeah, we don't need those keys, let's be realistic. Um, with 11 luck, I gotta tell you, that's not a holy card. Alabaster box is kind of interesting, I gotta think. I think we, we definitely dump the Hanged Man. I think we take this card real quick. Huge Growth is not bad. Alabaster Box is really interesting because it gives us deals with the Angel. Um, but we need to charge it by getting Spirit Hearts. It's kind of like the perfect lost item because we can't uh, pick up Spirit Hearts for ourselves anyway. But on the other hand, we already have another perfect lost item. <laughs> Don't walk into a Mimic, man. I'll, I'll never recover. So I, I think, though you may take issue, I think Book of Shadows is better for us. Um, and we're just going to do this because we have the bombs, but also we can, you know, it, it's a little faster, at least if we don't get a troll bomb out of it. Um, so like, what I'm trying to run through in my head is the idea that maybe if we could guarantee that alabaster box would pay out on this floor we could make something happen there but and we're, we're really swinging for the fences like check this out we're gonna go in here tarot cloth is disgusting um it's it's actually like amazing we'll pop the world card real quick emperor card out so we don't take damage you're fighting like 17 different bosses that pop out of the woodwork here but look at that no problem quick little tier size upgrade like <laughs> the one we just got Succubus, okay, and now maybe we're starting to believe a little bit here. Am I? I apologize. I think I'm clipping a little bit, but from the sum of all parts, we've we've created something a little bit magical, wouldn't you say? All right, ye of little faith. Um, I'm not going back for alabaster box, and I know we're hemorrhaging damage right now, but I am going back for huge growth because it is actually like a potentially unbelievably good item. And this run, remember, we still have Birthright. We've never done Boss Rush. That'll be... <laughs> I, I'll tell you, there is a way for us... And you can tell I'm getting excited. There's a way for us to do Boss Rush. We're going fast enough, I believe. But the, the way that we could definitely do Boss Rush... We're more than ahead of schedule. But the way that we could definitely do it is um, by picking up something that gives us extra charge. You know, if we could charge our... Uh, Book of Shadows faster. Everything is okay. Keep in mind, we're getting weaker as time goes on. And it's... This is a race to zero, basically. We're, we're eventually not going to have a damage bonus. So, the, the only way we... It's a little spicy. The only way we uh, stay ahead of that... Is by continuing to like actually improve the quality of the run in general. So succubus is really nice. It's a little bit, you know, it's it's overly coupled, I suppose, with the damage that we get from red stew. Um, but you know, we're not uh, we're not disappointed to have it. Let's put it that way. 
And I'm, I'm starting to realize a little bit more of the value of uh, the bone spurs. Like, I had never found them particularly good. Uh, I This gives us more mom items. Like, it gives us a mom item every room, which could give us mom's knife, but the luck upgrade is, is really hard to say no to this. Um, and the, obviously, like, I didn't mention it, but the mark is awesome. But I'm, I'm realizing here that, like, the, the bone spurs are actually, like, pretty good. When you can't get hit, having a bone spur to, like, block the shots that get spawned when an enemy, uh dies is is pretty solid it's a very dangerous decision here by the way to take bomber boy but it just goes to show you that i feel calm and clear and under control right now now you can't forget you got bomber boy or you're you're toasted basically but this is also a, a way for us to generate um more dps on a boss fight i just ha i had to see if it was a mimic we don't sweat those. Something's still alive. <laughs> I'm just, I got so scared, dude. Oh, you know what? I think we've already are... We, we should be thankful. We, we didn't even notice that our damage had decayed all the way. From Red Stew. Which, to me, indicates that our run is actually pretty good. If you don't even notice that you, you've lost that incredible damage up, you know... I mean, I guess that's kind of the goal for Red Stew to begin with, you know? If you could reach a point where having uh, having it decay doesn't completely crater your run, then, then you're probably feeling all right. Always got to be careful with these. You don't want to accidentally, you know, blow up a troll bomb. And, we're, you know, we're just letting the incredible effects... I'm, I'm stunned we haven't seen a holy card for the record, but we're just letting the incredible effects of, uh, effects of the Tainted Lost superior item pool filter down here. You know we're gonna be fighting the boss, the Depths bosses for the most part. You know, we fought them more than one time, let's put it that way. Maybe more than a thousand times. Should have a pretty realistic chance to not feel too uh, out of our depth. It's a fun character, man. A little bit, you know, can be frustrating. I could definitely understand. But a fun character nonetheless. And now we can take our time. Uh, that's gonna blow up the bomb judgment. See ya. <laughs> I know I said we we're gonna take our time. Uh, not today. Not today. Okay. Now. Right now, it's tough, because going to um, Boss Rush actually is on my radar, thanks to huge growth. It's a very nice uh, damage up, like it, especially with Tarot Cloth. I don't know what it'll do in terms of our damage, but it, it should be maybe like plus, I don't know. It might not be ridiculous to say like plus 10. But it's also, it's not certain death. It's just probable death. But maybe everything on this, on a tainted lost run is probable death, you know? I think we might want to take the chance. We'll be able to use Book of Shadows every other wave. But it, it's, it's not necessarily just every other wave. Stay, just stay warm here. There you go. Forget staying frosty, man. Stay warm. Beautiful. Um, you gotta try. If we do damage fast enough, then it's not every other wave. It could be, you know, uh, permanent. We could keep a 24 hour ban permanent. You gotta use it. It's only two bosses. It's, it's quite worth it for a tiers upgrade. Oh, man, car battery would hit the spot. I guess what we're really asking for more than anything else is, like, if we could just get a um, a shop that doesn't have greed. I could ask for X item, Y item, etc., etc., but just a shop that doesn't have greed so we could buy anything <laughs> is, a, is a start. Okay, good, good. Yes. You know, I'm I'm not scared anymore. We're going to come in here. Um, 
I knew it wasn't gonna hurt, but in my head I still thought, you know, like... It's e when you're watching somebody else play, and uh, I'm guilty of this too, it's very easy to be like, here's the decision you should make. When you're playing it yourself, and you, you know, you, you live and die on your own knowledge, it, you gotta, you gotta have a little bit more confidence, you know, the, the stakes feel just that much higher. Double key chest room. Not not disappointed really, but maybe always hoping to get um <laughs> I don't know, a card of some value or something. I don't know. I'm feeling good. Like that's that's for certain. Oh, I didn't even notice. Didn't even notice you, man. Where are we at here? Let's let's think for a moment, okay? We do have 98 keys. I think we're probably going to make boss rush to begin with. And I, I guess I would take it a step further and also say if we don't make boss rush, I don't really care, to be honest. Obviously, I would prefer to. Um, but may maybe this isn't the run for that. May maybe this isn't one where you're, you're stretching your, your bounds of success for no reason. Um, I'm very happy with, with getting another tiers upgrade. Although, did we, did we cap out? Five just seems like such a... It's, it's too convenient of a number, right? Come on, man. This is getting a little silly. I mean, I have the keys for a reason. Okay, see and never. If if you blew up and killed me, I would have become the Joker. So thank you for not doing that. I am clearly lost. I have no idea where I am. Um, we have a minute and fifteen seconds, but I'm I'm not stressing. There we go. I think it's more important for us to. Um, and the crane game for the D100 is really funny, but. We may not have time. Um, it's more important, I think, for us to at least make sure we're going to the shop. The item room, you know, 50-50, because we can't get holy cards in there. And I, I don't even know if there's the ability to get the items that would give us invincibility. But, like, getting something... Because we still, despite the quality of the run, we haven't unlocked anything on the post-it yet. So, I think getting something out of the run is more important than trying to force a boss rush that might not work. But, of course, now I'm on the boss fight and I'm like you know what now that you're making me choose <laughs> the other thing is um we we this is so risky to just stand there um and we're not gonna make it I know like we maybe if we got mama mega but ventricle razor all that for ventricle vent, ventricle razor um you, you gotta accept it it's gone okay we could try to fight the beast on this run but I you know what now that I think about it we must have left nice try um, we must have left a trinket behind, right? Because we, uh... Because we picked up perfection. I don't know what we had before. Okay, so we're, we're not gonna take the D100. You can call me a coward if you want. Um, it, it, it just doesn't fit into the plan. You know what? I, I think, I think we just go. I think we just try to make this work. Embrace the fact that, you know, we might not be able to, you know, literally accomplish absolutely everything on this run, but even modest success, you know, is called success for a reason. And we'll go. I, it, it doesn't really matter what we take. Let's look in here real quick. Obviously, this is not that useful, but... <laughs> Um, I guess, to be honest with you, I'd prefer to take the negative. Not just for the damage potential, but also the idea that, um... We... I mean, I was gonna say, as Tainted Lost, we could take a deal with the Devil. Or maybe all the deals with the Devil when we go down to the Dark Path. Well, obviously, we have to do, you know, the other way at some point as well, but... The world. I mean, I am not convinced that we're ever gonna... Or uh, that we're even gonna, I should say, win this one, but we're obviously we're gonna try. Um, and I think it's it's go it's going quite nicely. That's not a big deal. That's one. Yeah, you just you, you gotta be handy with the steel, you know. 
Um, and this is a run, like, it's going great, don't get me wrong. But certainly I would not... I can't believe we didn't get hit there. But I would not look at this run and be like, oh, you know, it's so unbelievably overpowered that, you know, it's very easy to win it without getting hurt at all. I'm actually looking at this and I'm like, I think we're doing a pretty good job um, given the circumstances. Like, I'm, I'm very proud of, of where we're at here. Um, the only damage we've taken on the entire run is the time we had to leave the curse room and I was a fool about it. That's that's so stupid that it's actually comical. That's hilarious. Okay, blast assist. Gonna be honest, not the most difficult enemy you're ever gonna come across. However, a, a situation where Book of Shadows still means something to me. I knew the mom transformation was coming. Okay, we're headed down to the next floor. This is still not a success. <laughs> we we don't have a success. Oh, you know what? I, I'm I'm realizing now we actually made a major mistake. What I was gonna say though is it's not a success until we we actually manage to beat Satan, which is kind of crazy. But um, we we should have played the fortune teller that we found a few floors ago, um, because that would have been a, a great opportunity for us to possibly get a uh, a holy card. And we really like I'm. Surprised, but also, uh, I mean, my mildly disappointed is a good way to describe it. I'm mildly disappointed we haven't come across. Um, just, just better safe than sorry on this room, I guess. Um, mildly disappointed we haven't come across a uh, a holy card. You would, you know, they they have such an increased chance to spawn. I wouldn't rely on them to save your entire run, but at least to. Uh, to give you like one get out of jail free or something like that would be probably within the bounds of expectations. I have no idea what what this is, by the way. I mean, I guess it just gives you one fly. Um, I I know you you must get it from beating maybe delirium as uh, Apollyon, tainted Apollyon, but that's funny. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like a bad trinket, but is it as good as having 10 luck upgrades? I don't know. We do have 12 luck right now. Which actually has got me thinking that maybe we would have been better off going to the chest, but I mean, the luck will still... Oh my. Have an impact for us. Uh, on the dark room as well. And, you know, first off, we gotta get there. I'm... I'm I don't... I don't feel comfortable. Um... I'm I'm highly embarrassed with that. Like I I I didn't want to use uh, Book of Shadows because I was like I I don't know it just it felt like kind of a waste. But I there was not a a single second there where I really felt like I was in control. <laughs> That's such an embarrassing way to take damage. But you know what? We're still sending it here. We're still still hanging in there. You're gonna encounter setbacks. The real meat and potatoes of it is how you how you let them get to you. We're we're moving on here. I have Belial. Um, we've we've already done hush. We've already done it. I have Belial. Um, decently better, I think, than Brimstone Bombs. Although you know Brimstone Bomber Boy Bombs has got some interesting sort of potentiality associated with it. So now we're re we're really in the mix now. But it's also, like, it, it's highly positive. Um, it'll be nasty to die with huge growth just burning a hole in my pocket. We gotta, we gotta keep that. I don't know where to stand. I, please pop up. <laughs> Thank you for not being a mimic, by the way. We got him? Oh my god, okay. So we have Book of Shadows. If that had killed us, man. We have Huge Growth Book of Shadows. This is a... You pop Huge Growth right away. Seven damage up. Forget the bombs. Not yet. I think we were about to get tagged. I stand by it. This is not going to last us through phase three. I'm making a conscious decision that I don't think 
That was so close. I don't feel comfortable throwing down uh, bombs here in case they get kicked. Okay, okay. Look at that, look at that. We got something new on the post-it, baby. Now, this is where things are going to be pretty interesting. Dark room, no joke, by the way. Pretty nasty down here. Uh, you know, we can only take one, and you might say, you, I bet you wish you took uh, Forget Me Now. Highly, highly incorrect. I am so thankful we didn't take Forget Me Now, because there's no way I could have held it long term. Now, I do think, by the way, I'm looking at this run, and I'm like, we're gonna die. Our damage is actually pretty bad now, for, for the Dark Room at least. They're, they're, the only saving grace is that I have yet to be hit by an enemy <laughs> on the entire run. I have only... Oh, there we go. You know, it was, I had it ready to... Grrr. Still, g great run, great video. I got hit three times on that run. Two of them were my own idiocy, and then finally I got got. But I, I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!